Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1260. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about is crypto an undervalued asset? Because there's so many things going on in the background with crypto But unless you're really paying attention, you might not be noticing what's happening because there's so much other news in the forefront. So first of all, this trial with Sam Bankman-Fried, Carolyn Ellison, and FTX is extremely eye-opening. But as I said all along, this was set up to be a scam operation. It was set up for nefarious activities. And to cover their tracks, they paid off politicians in the U.S. and in Asia. Then they moved their operation to Bermuda, where there weren't any laws to enforce their activities with crypto. And it wasn't until the market turned down and they got some margin calls that they dipped into shareholder funds and started using those to pay off their debts. A bad operation all the way around. This is equivalent to Bernie Madoff and what was going on there. So it's important that we don't color all of crypto with the criminal actions of a few bad actors. Because there's so much good happening in crypto and in blockchain that is going to change the world. And in particular, the financial system and the banking system. So you know, for a long time, I've been a fan of Ripple and of their crypto XRP. And you also know, I've been talking for a long time about how many banking relationships, not only with international banks, domestic banks, central banks, you name it, Ripple has been cultivating hundreds of banking relationships. Why? Because they can settle cross-border payments faster, cheaper, and more scalable than just about anybody else. And the whole banking world knows it, but it's a pretty big secret in their world. And it's been tested for years, and finally, we're going to see this come out in a more public way. One of the things that was just announced yesterday, which might seem like a really small thing, but it's just another piece of evidence of how XRP is going to dominate. And that is that they were added into the Roblox community. Roblox is a massive gaming platform that allows you to play dozens of user created games or create games through the Roblox studio. It is huge and it just added XRP as a way to make payments. Another piece of evidence that XRP is going to be used like a currency. Now, there's many other ways that XRP is being used. That was just the latest bit of information. But what also came out recently, which is unverified, but is from an insider from JP Morgan. And this comes to us from thecryptoalert.com. And they said there was a leaked report, which appears to have come from an anonymous insider within JP Morgan, that reveals that the banking giant has quietly accumulated more than 7.5% of its total wealth in XRP. It shows... JP Morgan's confidence in the potential of XRP as a long-term investment, and is worth noting that JP Morgan has not officially confirmed this report, adding an element of intrigue to their involvement with XRP. But JP Morgan isn't the only major financial institution expressing interest in XRP. According to a recent report published by Investing, BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, is also eyeing XRP as a part of its investment portfolio. This further underlines the growing appeal of XRP among institutional investors. While BlackRock has not made any official announcements regarding its XRP intentions, the mere mention of its interest in this digital asset carries substantial weight in the crypto industry. So those things are actually not very surprising to me. The only thing that really surprised me is that they leaked out. These are things that I definitely believed were going on behind the scenes, but were being kept very quiet. Now, in addition to BlackRock and JP Morgan, we also recently heard David Schwartz, Chief Technology Officer of Ripple, confirm that his father purchased a million XRP at the price of half a cent. Now, this is years ago, but what that says to me 
is that the son is not going to lead his father astray and is probably going to give him some pretty smart advice. And the fact that he could pick it up at half a cent was definitely a bargain price for what I believe is going to be a very important cryptocurrency in our whole financial system. But even so, XRP right now is about 49 cents. But it's not just XRP. There are other cryptocurrencies that we like that are also below the price of a dollar, some below the price of 10 cents, like XDC. We also like Algorand and XLM and other cryptocurrencies that are selling at bargain basement prices right now. So what's my point? My point is that large institutions are rumored to be buying up these cryptocurrencies because we're about to go into the phase where they are going mainstream. And at some point in the future, we're going to get the legislation that they're looking for that's going to bring the huge institutional wave of money in. So if you can invest at six cents or at nine cents or at 49 cents or 11 cents, these are bargain basement prices where you wanna pick up, even if it's just a small amount, something to set aside in a wallet securely and put it there for your future. It doesn't even take a lot of money to get a sizable number of these bargain cryptos. Now, not all cryptocurrencies are the same, and that's why I'm very particular in the ones that I like. I've always said, I believe Brad Garlinghouse is right when he says 90% of cryptocurrencies will not survive, just like many of the dot-coms did not survive. But there were a handful that dominate the internet, and those companies are still around, and I believe there are a handful of cryptocurrencies that will also dominate these ones that I've mentioned are at bargain prices, yet I think they are going to be some of the largest, most dominant players in international trade, in payments, for retail or institutional money, for scalable transactions and speed at low cost. All of these great things that are going to improve upon the technologies that we use now are coming down the pike. So I just want to say, if you haven't invested in your bargain basement cryptocurrencies yet, this might be the most ideal time to do it. Now, I'm not saying that they can't go lower. It's possible they could. But your risk at six cents is a lot less than your risk at $1.60. And most people tend to wait till prices get to $1.60 before they get interested in investing. But that carries much more risk with it. If you're investing at these low introductory levels and as early as we are, this is the low risk time that it doesn't take much money and to get an outsized return on your money. So I think we're close to starting the next bull market in crypto. It's definitely going to happen again. And if you haven't participated in a bull run in crypto before, you don't want to miss this one. So this is just a gentle nudge to say, don't forget to take a look at some bargain basement quality cryptocurrencies. This might be the perfect time to accumulate while they're at these rock bottom prices. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.